Hey everybody, it's Henry Steele. Today is September 16th, 2020, and I want to do a quick video about 50% price projections and how important they are. Because they're really important and they work out very well most of the time. Now here is the S&P 500 five minute chart. Here the market opens right there. It makes a top right there. And so we're going to do a simple 50% price projection right here. Now, if we look at this, this is actually a retracement tool. And I've explained this in other videos when I've shown this, but I use the two thirds, I use two thirds of the total range as the measurement for the move so that the third third is equal to a 50% price projection. So we had a move right here, the very first move for the open of the market, and then we created, it was an up move, so we created a price projection to the top side of 50%, and we see that when the market was done moving down and came back up here, it touched that and then reversed off of it. Now if we use this level to pr produce a second 50% price projection, that we get close to here, but we actually go past it by one bar here a certain amount of price extra but in time we halted the move of the market with this price level now if we create a second forecast 50 percent forecast or not forecast but a price projection rather we get to this level right here where we're currently trading right right around this particular level right here and if we close above it, then there's a chance that we will retrace off of it. Now, of course, this is just using price, and there's no implications being created by time cycles at this point, which would significantly improve what we're doing here. But I wanted to show you yet again how important the 50% price projections are. So if we delete the price projections to the upside, and look to the first price projection to the downside, we find that we have this big guy right here. So if we measure this one, and then produce a price projection, a 50% price projection, we have not hit it. We've come short both of these times. That's a little bit bullish in this particular instance. So we can not just use the very first ones, but for instance, in this move down right here, we have a, there we go, a 50% price projection going right here. And then we have another one going right here, which the second one catches. Again, let me show you that. We have the price projection right here because we had the move down we had a retracement up here mildly we have this point the 50% extension and then we measure from that point 50% further and we have <coughs> excuse me the bottom right here and then the market moves back up in that direction and we can even use if we look at this move up right here we see that we have a little bit of a retracement happening within the candle right there and then another one right there so if we use that as our 50 percent price projection point we find that this level right here is where we got the top of this next little retracement really quickly and then if we do another 50 percent price projection we're right at the top of the move again right there so i'm pretty sure you can figure this out it's very easy to do and i highly recommend that you study it because there's more to it than just a simple 50 percent price projection or extension however you'd like to call it or whatever you would like to call it so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here this is a short video but I'm going to reiterate this before the next video comes out so this is Henry Steele and I will talk to you in the next video